Hey everybody, um, thanks for attending this uh, demo video. So Amir and I will be playing roles in this demo. Um, he'll be the project engineer and I'll be um, a specialty foreman. Uh, his persona will be reviewing the as-built uh, capture in Matterport, basically doing a virtual QA Q QC site walk, a pretty familiar activity. All issues that he creates in the model will be assigned to me for review uh, with a potential escal escalation to RFI or I'll just close it out. With, uh, with that said, Amir, let's go ahead and get started. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Jared. So we begin by just going into the model that we want to associate with our ACC workflow. Go into add-ons, go down to the ACC add-ons and launch that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and connect that to my project in ACC and hit select. Once that's done, that process doesn't ever have to happen again. So it's now that connection is made and the model is brought up. So I can just walk the site and add any kind of RFI or issue that I want. Let me go over here. If I go under here, for example, add an issue, place that and then simply add in my title. The status is open, change my type here. Then hit create. And now that takes me into ACC docs, where I see all the issues uh, that are part of this uh, project. And now I can just go ahead, assign this, to my foreman, Jared, add a due date, and publish. And from here, I'll hand it off to Jared. Yep, perfect. All right, thanks, Amir. Um, so as I said, I'm the, uh, I'm the foreman. Um, the best way that I can explain this is, um, you know, as a foreman, I'm gonna be, be busy during the day. Um, you know, using ACC as kind of a collection point for all information across my project, right? From submittals to RFIs to issues to documents, uh, you know, sheet uploads, model uploads. Um, so one of the things that I, um, as a foreman, like to do when I get back towards the end of my day is go into um, ACC, go to my reports tab in docs. And I've already set up um, a report template, an issue detail report, that basically on a cadence um, pulls uh, all the details, puts them in a PDF, against all my issues. And as a foreman, this is a great way for me to ingest this information at the end of the day and kind of comb through that outside of ACC, if you will, in a PDF, so that I can kind of focus on specific things that need um, direction and insight. So um, I'm gonna click into this one I already have. And so I've already done that. Amir's already assigned that issue to me. It's already sitting in ACC. I'm just going to view it in context to all my other issues. So I'm going to run that report. It's going to grab all that information um, from all these issues um, the last seven days, including the one that was just created by Amir, and it's going to put them in this report. It's going to do its little spin here, and when that's done, that'll open me up to all my issues. So I, in, my, in this PDF, I could view that outside of my browser or in, in an Acrobat viewer or straight up in my browser. Here's the issue that uh, was created that installed Backlash. Now this is going to prompt me to kind of take a look at this, you know, as I'm going through all my issues. I can see obviously that this is uh, this is something that needs further inspection. So I'll click on that. It's gonna take me right in, into the Matterport space, into the model, and right specifically to that issue, okay, that Amir created. So I can click on the uh, icon. It's gonna take me to the detail. And then I can open this in uh, um, ACC and Docs to get further kind of information about that. So I can uh, I can come in and you know make any annotations. Um, make a note um, specifically to a mirror that says, hey, this has been resolved. Whatever I need to do to kind of go to the next step with that issue, I can do. I, I can add that into the, the comments section below. And then I can just simply come up here and, and close this issue. So that's basically a soup to nuts kind of workflow on how um, issues can be created um, using the ACC uh, API connection within Matterport. And then they can be kind of pushed into a workflow on a project and job site where, you know, different stakeholders have access to that 
to kind of progress an issue or potentially not. Maybe it goes back for further inspection or review, um, all leveraging the detail in the Matterport model. Thanks for joining us.